Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Not sure if you can hear it is raining like cats and dogs outside my condo. And today the whole day is so crazy though. Daytime it is so scorchy hot. Uh, but now, now it's actually the evening, it started to rain. Oh my god. So anyway, today I decided to cook something more appetizing and more soothing for my family, uh, which is I'm going to make a fish slice soup. Okay, so um, I'm, I have actually two, I was told these are a small snapper. Actually, it doesn't look like snapper to me. It looks a little bit more like golden thread fish. Anyway, uh, I have two uh, small snapper here with me. And these are the fish slices. Um, actually, this are, I slice it from uh, Siakap fish tail, um, Baramundi fish. If you want to know where I normally buy my fish online, I will leave the link in the description. And also, we have some uh, tomato chunks, spring onion, and ginger slices. And I may be putting in some uh, tofu later, I will decide later because this thing, the whole thing, more importantly, is actually the uh, soup, yeah, the fish soup, nourishes fish soup. Uh, and of course, we are going to use a chicken stock to cook the fish soup. I always uh, advise you all to always use a soup to cook a soup. So today I'm going to use a chicken stock to cook a fish soup. Um, how do I make chicken stock? It can be done in two seconds. And I'm going to make use of my cooking appa uh, chicken stock powder. So what you need to do is prepare one big bowl of hot water and you just add in approximately one teaspoon of my cooking appa 100% natural uh, chicken powder and done. Chicken stock is ready in two seconds. <laughs> if you want to know how to buy, uh, I will put the link inside the video description as well. It's available in both Shopee and uh, in Malaysia and Singapore. Give a little bit of oil here. So once you have heat out the oil, you're going to put in the two small fish. You can use any fish you have. Uh, preferably white meat fish like snapper, grouper. Get a smaller one so that it's not too expensive because um, later we are going to smash the whole fish <laughs> so you don't want to use something uh, too expensive I would suggest you to use a smaller snapper okay this is after another one minute plus Ooh, nice beautiful golden color you want to char you want to you really want to char the fish so that you can have added flavor the char itself will add flavor to your dish yeah beautiful char so I have fried my fish for approximately four to five minutes smash the whole fish This is go back on uh, medium high heat. Continue to fry your fish like this. Basically the fish, the whole fish is all smashed up. This is actually how some uh, inland China fish soup restaurant, how they make their fish soup. Remember I told you, you don't want to use the expensive fish here. <laughs> Okay, so you're still on medium high heat. The next thing, I'm going to raise the heat even further. Medium high heat here. Next thing is to add in the chicken stock and um, 
we are going to throw in ginger slices. Spring onion and tomato, we will leave it later. So I'm going to bring this to a boil and let it boil for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, let's go and marinate the fish slices. Let's marinate our fish. Uh, let's give it a bit of salt, fine salt, yeah? Few dashes of white pepper. And I will be giving it a little bit of my chicken powder as well. My chicken powder, you can use it to marinate meat, any kind of meat, yeah? Next thing, we will put in some star solution. And you want to mix it up. So the star solution here is going to help to make your fish tender. Oh, look at the orangey fish oil. This is the fish oil. Oh, nice. I've never bought this kind of fish before. Oh, the fish oil is beautiful. And fish oil is very, very good for our body, especially for our kids, okay? So this one, we have, uh, it, is, has, it has been boiling for the past about five minutes. Uh, take note, it must be boiling, not simmer, yeah? Look at this, this is boiling. So at least medium high heat with beautiful fish oil. Uh, these two fish, I actually bought it from the uh, little seafood truck. Uh, on every Friday. I was told on other days he's actually in Charas. And on the safe side, let's uh, quickly rinse this uh, wok. Just want to make sure there isn't any smaller bones inside, yeah? Then we can actually take out the fish bone and pull the fish soup back and let's raise the heat. And now I'm going to put in the spring onion. I have two more pieces of ginger and some tomato some people ask Appa, Appa can I use your chicken powder to make bihun soup? now you definitely can but the thing is uh, any good soup is always a good combination of ingredients so if you want to make a, um, use the chicken powder to make the soup can but you try to add in something else so you have uh, the base so it's the chicken stock, then you plus probably some tong choy or some ikan bilis. Okay, like this one is actually uh, chicken stock plus fish two. So sometimes when you eat outside, they even use three. That's how you make a full body soup. It's a good mixture between different kinds of uh, bones or meat. Yeah. Okay, now we can actually give this some seasoning. Uh, let me find some salt. This is salt. Few dashes of white pepper. And I'm going to give it a little bit of my fish sauce. My favorite Vietnamese premium fish sauce. Where is it? Oh uh, yeah, my helper keep it very inside. Okay, few drops of fish sauce you can add in some uh, rock sugar here to balance it balance the flavor all right next thing next thing I'm going to put in the fish but there's one important step in order to keep your fish tender which is 
to lower down the heat to let it simmer. Do not let it boil. Yeah, let it simmer. So allow your fish to cook in a simmer situation. So this it will give the heat slowly to the fish. Then your fish can remain tender. This is another trick. Huh? And you only need to cook the fish probably simmerly for approximately one minute, one two minute maximum. Then it will be fully cooked. Once it turn the whole thing turn uh, whitish in color, you know it's cooked ready. This is after simmering for about one minute plus. You can use a spatula to very gently push the fish. As you can see here, all the fish has turned whitish in color. It's a sign telling you it is fully cooked. And now we can serve. Very, very simple, isn't it? But beautiful. White pepper. Done. A very simple but hearty uh, fish soup is ready. So if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.